This video tutorial deals with using the wish list to trade on Patex.com. If you own your own tag, you can simply initiate trades with other people who have their tags active for trade. If you don't own your own tag, or a tag that you want is not active for trade, another way you can build your collection is using the wish list. When you create a new user, you get 6 slots to start, and you can earn an additional 3 slots up to 15 slots for every 150 experience points you get. Experience points are earned by logging on every day, completing trades, and purchasing path tags. So the way this works is, let's say uh, you want to start trading and building a collection, but you don't want to make the investment of a starter kit to begin with. Well, that's fine. You can get 5 packs or 20 packs um, of tags from the geocoinstore.com. You can also buy tags off eBay a lot of times. And the, another great way to get tags is to join one of the Pat Tag Clubs, where you subscribe and you get tags every month in the mail. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. So I'm going to actually show you, um, I'm going to log a tag that I got from the Path Tag Club. So you do that by clicking Log Tags. Uh, you can change where you found it if you want to, or enter the serial number. I'm not going to enter the real serial number because I don't want you to see what the real serial number is. That takes all the mystery out of it. I'm going to log 5. And uh, you can leave a message and change the date if you want to. But then you just click Add when you're done. And what this has done is it's added 5 of this tag to my collection and made 4 available for trade. When you have tags that are available for trade in your collection, it means that you can start to wishlist tags out of the gallery. So now if you go to my site and go to the tag gallery, you can use this view filter up here to select items for wishlist or not in my collection and for wishlist. And when you do this, all the tags that show up have the wishlist add to wish list thing. And you can go through here and you can see tags you, you like and you can add them to your wish list. And as you do that, you'll see your wish list start to build up. Now if there's a tag that you added that you don't really want or it's been on there for too many days, you can see the age right here, you simply can remove it. What this does is it signals the user or the owner of this tag that I'd like that tag and they'll get an email saying somebody wishlisted your tag they come and they'll see your name and they can choose from the tags you have available and since in my collection I have available tags that are for trade this will pop up in the view for that user and they can offer me a trade for the tag that I want for this tag that I have and that's the way the wishlist works so you cannot offer a direct trade. You can say, I'd like to have this tag, and then the owner gets four days to fulfill your wish, after which anybody who has an extra tag of that kind can fulfill the wish for you. So the next thing I want to show you is it works both ways. Let's say you get a five pack of tags from the store, and somebody else wants one of those tags. Let me show you what happens there. So we're going to pretend that we just bought some iPlay with satellite tags, and we're going to click log tags here. And again, we enter the serial number and how many we're logging and again I'm not showing you the real serial number because that takes away all the fun and you click add to your collection now I have five of this tag in my collection and four available for trade and if I go to my collection I see both of them there now on the play with satellites tag I actually see that somebody wants this tag so when somebody has a tag in your collection on their wish list you'll see this little flashing icon there to draw your attention to it if you click on that it'll show you who wants that tag and in this view you can see one person has made a wish for this tag this is the date now if this was somebody else's tag and they hadn't unlocked the wishes uh, there's a four day timer here that would tell you that the wish is locked and how much longer it's locked for. So you can come back later and try and fulfill the wish. But now you can click the person's name to see what they have available. And you get a list of all the options you can choose. So there's 61 tags on two pages that I can look through and see if I like. Now if I like one of these tags and I want it in exchange for the tag this person has wished for, I can simply offer the trade. And now this will give you a little taste of being a tag owner because this is how you initiate trades to the gallery if you own a tag. So it tells you the tag that you need to send and the tag that you should receive and you enter your offer message and then you hit submit below. Once you've done that, 
you're back at your my page and you can see the message that your trade request was sent and also you can see that you have one open trade now that one open trade shows here that it's with trippy 1976 and it has not been accepted yet this little hourglass means it hasn't been accepted once trippy accepts it or maybe they'll reject it then you have an obligation to use the send tags feature to address the tag and mail it to them uh, so I'm not going to go into all that in this tutorial, but uh, that's how you use the wish list in a nutshell. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, as always, email support at pathtags.com. Thanks.